the easiest way to install Bloodhound is to be using a Kali virtual machine, because there's an official Kali repository for Bloodhound. If we take a look at the Kali Tools Bloodhound documentation, we see that we can just do a simple sudo apt install Bloodhound, and once that installs, we can run Bloodhound's configuration script by doing a sudo Bloodhound setup. Once you've configured Neo4j, you can finally run an instance of Bloodhound by just doing a simple sudo bloodhound and logging in as the user admin admin, which will then prompt you to change the password. I already have Bloodhound set up on this virtual machine, but we can go ahead and run sudo bloodhound setup just to show you what it looks like. Once the setup completes, we see that it opens an instance of Neo4j on 7474. And if you see this page where it says you're connected as a user Neo4j, then you're all set up and you can finally run Bloodhound. To launch Bloodhound on Kali, all you have to do is do a sudo bloodhound. Once that completes, your browser will open with a Bloodhound Community Edition login page, and this is what it should look like once you get signed in. If you're not running an instance of Kali, you can still download Bloodhound by going to the SpectreOps Bloodhound GitHub. You can refer to this quick start guide for Bloodhound Community Edition, which will take you through an easy guide for setting up Bloodhound with Docker Compose.